Hey folks, Arm and Hammer here. Check it out. The following is an interview with Hyotur Gretar's son, who's the event organizer or one of the event organizers for the newly announced Reykjavik CrossFit Championships. That's right. So the actual event that we've been looking at in Iceland that we heard about way, way back when, that is real. It's happening. It's happening in the first weekend of May, May 3rd through the 5th. The qualifiers are in February, right before the Open starts. We talk a little bit about those details as well as kind of how this came about and why he's involved with it, why I'm talking to him about this, and how the sort of like history of Iceland is going to play into this event. It, uh, it, it's overall a pretty good interview. It's a good look at what exactly the Reykjavik CrossFit Championships are all about, and I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Uh, Hjortur, thank you so much for, uh, for, for joining me here. I think, um, I think some people may be looking at this and, and wondering exactly what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut to the chase and I'm going to let you pick up. So Iceland is, uh, has, was rumored as one of the sanctional spots. And now we know for sure that Reykjavik is going to have, is going to have a, a, a sanctional, the CrossFit championships, Reykjavik CrossFit championships. So, uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, that's Thank awesome. You. And then second of all, what what is your involvement here? I think I think a lot of people might be interested to to know exactly what it is that you're doing here. Well, uh, I got a phone call from Annie, what two months ago. She said that Glassman had called her, and she said, "Can we put on a international CrossFit championship in Reykjavik?" I gave it all of fifteen seconds and said, "Of course." So that's that's my involvement. I've known Annie for many many years. I'm, I'm affiliated with um, with her gym, the the Reykjavik, the CrossFit Reykjavik gym, and I've helped her out in um, for the last uh, couple of years with the Wow Stronger uh, things, uh, the the competitions, and I was in charge of the 18.5 uh, uh, that we did here in March in Iceland. So I'm the Basically, the uh, event manager that she, I mean, the go to guy for her, and the funny side part on the 18.5. She called me, actually, she sent me an, uh, an SMS, said, uh, Headquarters are coming to Iceland, they need a few lights. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to three weeks later, you know, 15 cameras, and you know, a whole. <laughs> So I mean, she's a professional athlete, you know. She, that's not her strong suit. So I'm, I pick up where she, she, she leaves off. So yeah, that's my involvement. I'm, I'm the manager of the, the, the games, the Reykjavik CrossFit Games that we're extremely excited to have in, in Iceland. So and I will oversee that along with uh, a couple of, uh, couple of friends that we, you know. Yeah, the the Reykjavik the the Icelandic CrossFit scene is uh, is really interesting. I was out there earlier this year um, in in early January for the Wow Stronger event, and I was kind of blown away with how one how committed in the middle of just the darkest longest day, like just just twenty hours of night in the middle of the winter how committed so many people were to fitness. I mean, for me, if it, if it drops below 70 degrees here, I'm just, I'm bundled up and I'm not moving off my couch. And yet it was, it was zero degrees and people were biking to the gym in the middle of the night. Uh, so the, the, the CrossFit scene in Iceland is, is full of a bunch of just badasses and people who care uh, about what's going on here. And so I think it's really interesting to see, you know, Iceland specifically, picked as one of these these hosts for the the sanction events even though population wise it, it may not actually be one of the largest spaces why, why do you think you know iceland was was singled out here i think you i mean it's it's like you said uh we're hooked on the thing i mean we're hooked on crossfit and uh, i mean we've uh, done a handful of events uh i think 18.5 was the the break i mean the the point where people saw that, okay, these guys can, I mean, there's only 300,000 of us, you know, and these people can, they can put on a show. So that, I think that was the thing because we used to people come in here to shoot films or commercials or whatever. They, and understandably, they think they're going to, I don't know, bumfuck wherever. They don't know where they're going, you know, and they think there's no infrastructure. So we, I think headquarters was confident that we can pull this off. 
plus the fact, uh, I mean, the daughters. Uh, it's amazing that we, you know, with once again the population that we have so many outstanding uh, CrossFitters for a small nation like this, and we get the job done. Yeah, we do bike to the gym in the middle of the winter. <laughs> you know, we show up and, and so, but we get geothermal heated swimming pools that help us out. So that's it's good. No, I think I think that's the. Uh, I think it's also strategically very uh, good place to go to. I mean, we're in smack in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, so it's easy for Europe, easy for uh, the U.S. to meet here in in Reykjavik and and do this because, let's face it, the new sanctionals. Uh, there are people coming all over from all over the world, so I think that's a combination of that. These th these three things, you know, location, the the people that the really nice. Uh, I mean, the, like you said, we're really committed to the thing. We 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 love this stuff. I mean, Annie, Katrin, Tanya, Sarah. I mean, these are not only worldwide heroes in the CrossFit; they're, they're local heroes also in, in in so many ways. So, so yeah, I think that's the reason. Now, let's let's see if we can dive into some of the uh, the specifics here. So, I have a couple dates here, and you. So it sounds like starting it's starting this year you guys are you guys are, are are getting launched and for the 2019 games right you're not waiting for the 2020 games no no, no. we're going we're going and then going. the qualifiers are starting february 8th and running until february 17th yeah february 8th to the 17th on the eve of uh, on the night of midnight on the 7th we'll post three watts three uh, things that you need to do in the span of those 11 days that you have uh, after that. Or se no, it's 11, what am I, I'm calculating it wrong. Nine, nine days. days. Nine days. <laughs> uh, so you have nine days to do those and you just submit them. You don't need to do them, you know, you can do them whatever order you need to and, and you'll submit them. We'll pick out uh, 30 of these. At, uh, we'll we'll put up, pick out 25. Females, 25 males. We were going to keep five spots for invitations that we we need to, because we're uh, what are we? The 12th or 13th of the 16 sanctionals. So there's going to be somebody needs to get a shot. Mm -hmm. So that's we're keeping these the the five slots for that. Uh, this is right before the the main open. Our onliner, like we're calling we're calling it, is a week prior to the open. So. Um, it was the only slot available. We didn't want to wait until after the open, so so yeah, we're we're, it's, we're extending the open for um, for nine days. And then the event itself runs that the first weekend of May, May third through May May fifth. Yeah. And in in hmm? go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first week of May uh, when the daylight is about eighteen hours. So it's a good time to, to visit Iceland. If you, if you were here in January, you'll get the flip side of that in, in, uh, in May. Uh, we, 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 had a we, had, we could choose early April or early May. We decided with May, uh, longer hours, longer daylight, uh, hopefully better weather. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be the, the whole weekend in the heart of Reykjavik, in, in the National Handball Stadium, which, <laughs> which is, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the fact that uh, Iceland is big in handball. Apparently, I did not know that. That's <laughs> It's team handball. It's not, not the, the, the U.S. version, you know, throwing it against the wall. No, it's, it's team handball. It's huge in Iceland. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be staging this event in there. So that's going to be good fun You're t in the smack. Is there is there any sort of uh, is there any sort of like spite from the National Handball Association of Iceland that that the, like some of the fittest females in Iceland instead of p joining the national handball team went and started lifting weights really fast? I'm sure we can <laughs> wrangle that. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Well, it's, I'll I'll talk to them. That would be a good story. Like the Icelandic handball team is just furious at cross. So upset, so <laughs> upset that just some of the fittest <laughs> people. <laughs> uh, so you know, I think uh, one of the one of the things that I experienced in Iceland uh, when I was visiting earlier this year was the uh, like the history of it is is very much 
you know, a part of of everything that happens there uh, on a on a daily basis. I mean, the 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 subtext of you know the the historic importance of Vikings and Iceland and and the the cultural aspects of all of that lifestyle is uh, is just really sort of like embedded into everything that you guys do. You know, how do you think that you're going to include that in into into this type of an event? Uh, we've thought about it. Uh, we've um, uh, the Viking thing. The, the national football team <laughs> kind of embraced that with the, the Viking chant, which they've done whenever they uh, they uh, win a game. So the Viking kind of Viking thing has been done to death. We're the only country of that of the sanctions that were kind of allowed to do a Viking theme and and just you know this is this is us. Uh, we're not gonna embrace it fully over the whole competition, but we're definitely gonna. There's gonna be a slight flavor. Uh, we're gonna, you know, tip our hat towards that in in one of the events, uh, I imagine, uh, and also in the same way, tip our hat to the the strongman tra- tradition that we have in Iceland, which is, you know, of course, comes from the Viking stuff. The young Pat Sigmarsson and, and all that stuff. You you saw that rogue film they did, Full Step Good. Oh, of course. So uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's that's all us, baby. I, so we're gonna. You <laughs> know, <laughs> one of the reasons why I'm I'm excited to come back to Iceland at some point that's not the middle of the winter is because I went to the Husafell Stone. Oh, good. Okay, and okay. it was frozen to the ground, here I need to redeem myself because. Absolutely, I cannot allow just the winter to be the reason. I'd rather just not be strong enough, but I couldn't even budget because it was frozen in like four inches of ice. Basically frozen water that was keeping you from... Yeah, it was water that stopped me from picking it up. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, I imagine that the Husafat's headline is going to be a part of... I mean, if it's it's probably not going to be part of the, the, the... uh, the bots themselves or the the competition, but it's going to be on on site. Let's put it that way. We, it's going to be it's it travels so and it will be there. It, we need to once again tip our hat 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 to that. So is there is there any particular part of this that is more exciting, um, like the most exciting part for you? You know, there's there's obviously a lot of details here that are you know, really, really interesting, you know, that, that, that kind of add a lot of flavor to, to this event, but is there something specific that maybe you've been hoping to be able to do and, and you can kind of pull off now that this is a larger scale event, um, or, or something like that? Uh, we our number one, two and three goal with this event is, is staging, a, a, an event that is a good experience, you know, for the competition, for the competitors, for the the people coming to watch, and for the the people that are uh, you know giving their time and effort to make this happen. So it's going to be an all round. I mean, it's going to be filled with love. Basically, is is that that's our main goal. It's just going to be it's going to be a pleasant experience for everybody. Uh, hopefully, and the second one that we hopefully do, want to do is bring it. You know into downtown Reykjavik, bring one of the watts, you know, to um, to downtown Reykjavik, to the people, because we could easily have held this, uh, held this thing inside one of the gyms and just done it there. We want to take it out sh- outside and show people, you know, this is, this is what we're doing in all the basement, in all the garages that we have around the country. So that's the main thing, having a great experience for everybody who's taking part. And that it's gonna, you know, we will take it to the to the people, basically, to show them to go downtown. And, and we're in a great uh, uh, cooperation with the city of Reykjavik, so which is gonna allow us to do that. We're gonna close off streets and do uh, one of the things, whatever we're gonna do somewhere downtown. <laughs> Lastly, I guess uh, you know you have an expertise in production, um, you know, in, in film production. How do you how do you see sort of the broadcast for this going? You know, I think that's probably one of the linchpins for a lot of these events uh, being successful. You know, what what do you guys have in, in mind for for your broadcast? Uh, just a full on broadcast of everything. I mean, basically, you're going to be because uh, wherever where that national stadium is situated, we have a great fields and stuff in outside, 
that we can maybe put something. You can basically sit in your sheet or at home and just watch everything on the on the big screens and and, and thoroughly enjoy it and follow every every step of the way. Uh, what I also want to do is is get people to um, uh, we, we're figuring out the uh, what is it called the, the nuts and bolts of the fact that we're going to do five cameras that you can at home you're going to be watching the whole thing then you're going to be able to I mean okay your guy is not being shown because he's next to somebody who's very famous and or not even famous so you're going to be able to at home you're going to be able to you know pick out okay I'm going to watch lanes one and two oh, wow. or I'm going to watch lanes five and six or whatever so you can basically we're going to stream the whole event but then you're also going to be able to follow your person in in their lane so that's the uh, that's the main thing that we're gonna because that's what we we've always seen watching these things prior. The, sometimes your guy is never shown or your team is never shown. So that, we're gonna uh, experiment a bit, a little bit with that. That sounds awesome. So, but uh, yeah, that's a, it's a it's a it's a cheap thing basically. It's it's easy. It's cheap. So uh, why not try it? So that's the main thing. There you go. Why not try it? That's that's a good. <laughs> That's a good attitude to have for this thing. Um, so you know what you and I we're we're chatting right now. The official announcement hasn't hasn't happened yet, but um, you know by the time by the time this comes out, the announcement will have happened. So where can people go to to find some more information on this thing? It's our I mean basically on our website, which is really long. <laughs> it's RakeyCrossFitChampionship.is, which is like. <laughs> rcc.is was taken so uh, Reykjavik CrossFit Championship.is is, is we got all the all the info there we're gonna uh, we're gonna put our, our and flight details and uh, hotels and stuff so it's all gonna be eventually put in there and we're also gonna do a little uh, history of uh, the naming of the daughters so so people are gonna look up for that a little thing it's like where did this doctor thing come from so that's the place to go and see that. Awesome. So it's, it's basically our website is, is going to tell us uh, tell us everything. Very cool. Well, uh, here, I really appreciate your time. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting another My- shot at that Husafell stone. I'll be honest with you. You're not leaving until it's you had it <laughs> in your lap. Thank you so much, Tom, and it's been a pleasure. Likewise. See you in Iceland. See you in Iceland. <laughs>